I've seen these videos that show uh, this animation of a bubble sort, and I want to make that. So I'm going to, just for fun. What's a bubble sort? So imagine that I have a list of these numbers, and I want to change them so that they're in order from smallest to biggest. Uh, the bubble sort method starts with uh, these first two items, and it says, okay, if this number is bigger than that, switch them. If not, move to this one. Now, so it's going to be two. Now, are, which one of these two are bigger? Is three bigger than one? Yes, it is. So switch these. So one, three, and then it'll say, okay, uh, three, four, is that, which one's bigger? Switch them, four, and then four, seven, which is almost in order. I just made these up randomly. I'm not very good at that. And then it goes through again, uh, and I don't have to go to the last one because I know that one's going to be my maximum number. So I'm going to say, are these two in order? No, switch them, one, two. Are these two in order? Yes, and then so forth. And then I'm going to leave that seven off, and then I'll go one. These are, it already has worked. So there you go. You get that. Let's code this, and then let's animate it because I really want to make that animation. Jumping to Python. Here we go. Um, okay. I got this lined up. So this, I'm going to use WebVPython GlowScript because it has great animation tools in it, and it's what I really prefer to use. So let's embigonate this. Big and big and big, big. One more. That's good. Uh, okay. Um, the first thing we need to do is just to make a list of random numbers. I can do that. Let's say I'm going to make it a list of uh, 10. I don't know, I'm just picking 10. Uh, and this is the way I like to make things, counting things bigger. That's better. Because no one likes it when the code's so small you can't see it. n equals 10, n equals 0, while n less than n, print n, n equals n plus 1. This is, this is the way I like to do it. And I run that, and it we go 0 through 9. So it did it, did it 10 times. Now I'm going to make a list. I'm going to call it stuff, an empty list. And what I want to do is to add a random number. And I'm just going to go between 0 and 1. You can make, you can multiply by 10 or do whatever you want. I'm doing 0 to 1. There will be, it'll be fine. Uh, so I don't need to print that. What I'm going to do is to add a random number to my stuff list. Stuff equals stuff plus random. So in WebVPython, random, the function random returns them between 0 and 1. Now, there are better random modules in real Python. This isn't technically real Python, and that's fine. Let's just print out our random list. Print stuff. and see if it works. There is my random unordered list. You can see, oh, it's kind of weird, but I have uh, 0.896 is maybe the largest number, and it's first. Okay. So how do we, re how do we bubble sort this? Let's just go through one sort. What I want to do is go through each number in the list. Actually, I'm going to go starting from the second number, and I'm going to make an old and, an, and a now, and then I'm going to see if they're in order. If not, I'm going to switch them. See, I just switched them. Do you see that? Switcheroo. Let's just do this. 4i in range 1 to the length of stuff. I'm just going to print i, just so you see how this works. This will start at the number 1. So I'll skip that first element, which is 0, and I'll print all the other ones out. So if you look, it started at 1, which is good, because if I want to say uh, i minus 1, there is an i minus 1. I can do that. If I started at 0 and I did i minus 1, it's like there's no i minus 1. That's the first one. So let's call... Uh, I do want to print this, this print stuff, because I'm going to print it again. Uh, I want to assign old and now. Old equals stuff i minus 1. Now equals stuff i. So they, they're both assigned a number. Uh, now I just want to say if old is uh, greater than now, then I want to swap them. So to do that, uh, I will say stuff i equals old, stuff i minus 1 equals now. So I just swapped them. That's it. And then that should, I'll go through the whole list and just do one sorting. So let's print the stuff again. 
and see if it did indeed sort it at all. It didn't do the whole thing. It just did one pass, right? So here I had 0 0.87, 0 0.9, let's run down to gigs. I already started off with the largest number at the end. So here I had 0 0.85, oh, let's do it again. I wanna see, I should get the largest number at the end. Okay, here we go. So in this list up here, my largest number is 0.852, and you notice that ends up here at the end. So I did, I sorted it. Uh, if I and I can, I just want to do the same thing again, and then it would sort up to the next highest number, right? Because you're taking each number and you're bubbling it up to the top, and so that highest number should be at the top. And if I do it again, the next highest number should be at the at the top. So it, it sorts it that way. Um, so I could just keep doing this for n number of times, or I could keep doing it until I no longer have to sort by just saying there's no, I could put a flag in there saying, okay, did I switch any? And when I stop switching any, that'd be done. But I'm actually gonna do it a um, number of times until, so what I'm gonna do is say, I'm gonna do this until the counter. Let's do this, n max equals zero. So that's how high I wanna go because every time I go through this bubble sort, I wanna don't not go to the highest one. So I can keep doing this until my n max is the length of the list. So while n max is less than the length of stuff, I'm going to do all this stuff. Uh, so I'm going to indent this. No, indent all of it. Tab. Um, and this will be one to the length of stuff. Yeah, so I'm just not going to go through the whole thing, right? I'm going to not include the last one. I do need to increase uh, in max by one down here. We're going to run forever. In max equals in max plus one. So keep on doing it until I've done the gone through the list number of times. And let's see if this prints it and it's in the right order. And if it does, then I can work on making an animation. So here's my initial list. So at the end, let's see if this is in order. It does look like it. Looks like it works. Bubble sort. But we don't care about bubble sorting. We care about uh, bubble animation because they make these cool animations and that's what I want to do. I want to make the animations. So what I'm going to do is to make a bunch of rectangles. And the, the Y value of the rectangle will be the random number. How's that sound? Uh, so my, my, my stuff is gonna be a list of rectangles. It's not gonna be a list of numbers. Now, I'm gonna put them in space, so I need a place to start, I need to know how much to move, and all that stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna keep stuff empty. Let's start, let's call this x start equals negative one. So I can go for, oh no, negative 0.5. Let's do negative 0.5 to one. You can change this however you want. This is just what I'm gonna do. Now I need to know my step size. If I'm going to negative a half to half, then my, that's a total length of one. So each step will be n over one over n. So dx, that's the distance I move to each next one is one over n. Okay, so now this, I'm going to put um, a box, not a number. I'm gonna put a box, box, uh, the position is going to be equal to the starting location. No, it's going to be, let's put vector x start, but you got spelt right, start, plus n times dx. Uh, and then I'll put the y as random. No, no, the y is, that's the size, 0, 0. So its location is going to be moving along the x direction. I'll return this. And then the size will be a vector the x coordinate, how big is it in the x direction? That'll be dx. How big in the y coordinate will be the random, and then how big in the z will be also dx. And that should do it, and let's just comment out all this stuff, because that won't work yet, because I changed it. Uh, and I don't, I don't want to print it, because I can't, I mean, I can print it, but it won't do anything, because it's a list of 3D objects. Let's see if we get 10 objects. No, we don't. See, there's an error. Missing a right parentheses. I can fix that. Okay. Missing my right parentheses. 
Oh, right here. No? Yes. No. Position equals vector, comma, size is vector. I think that's okay. Box, position, vector. Oh, box. I do need one more. No, wait. Yes. There. So there are my 10 boxes. Uh, let's, let's put a little bit of space between each box. So you notice that they're all different. They're all different sizes, right? And they're not sorted. Let's put a little bit of space between them. The size, I'll just make it a little bit less than dx. So 0 0.95 times dx. Let's see what that looks like. Now we can see them as individual boxes. I like that. Okay. Now we need to sort them, but let's give them a color. So in WebVPython, color is a vector. And so you have three coordinates, red, green, and blue. And let's just say the red value is between zero and one. So it is the random number. And then I'll give it, I'll say it's part red, zero, green, and blue, all the way blue. So if it's, let's just try it, right? What the heck, what the heck? Um, so if I do that, let's put right here, comma, return, just so we can see it. Color equals uh, size dot y, because that's the random number, vector, size dot y, 0, 1. Let's see if that works. No, it didn't like that. Missing a right parentheses again. Okay, yeah, I did, I did do that. That's my fault. No. Can't. Okay, so it won't do that. How about this? I can't use, let's do this. Um, random, I'm going to get rid of this. Control X and put RT there. And then I'll just make RT equals random. And then I can say RT, right? Because I think it didn't like referencing that same thing twice. So let's see if this works. Nice. So uh, the shortest ones are the darkest blue. The brightest ones are, are more ready with blue. So it'd be magenta. But it looks pretty. Now when I sort it, the color should be sorted too. Okay, now we got to fix our bubble sort. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the print. Now, stuff is no longer a list of numbers, but this is still works. Length of stuff, that's still true. Uh, that's still true. Old, now here, stuff I minus one. I need stuff I minus one dot size dot y, right? Dot size dot y, and then um, now when I, when I move it, I'm going to, and it's, I, I want to switch their sizes and position. So this will be dot size dot y dot size dot y. But I also want to move, um, no, that will, that will just change the size that I didn't actually move it. I just changed the size, which is fine. Um, but I, I want to change the color too, right? So. I have to reset their color to what they should be. Uh, so that would be stuff, no, stuff i dot color equals vector stuff i, see, I think you can do it now, dot size dot y, zero, one. Stuff i minus one dot color equals vector stuff i minus one dot size dot y zero one let's see if now okay i do want to do other thing that's something else here i want to put a rate statement in here because i want to see the whole thing animate uh let's do 20 steps per second and if this works i'm gonna be super pumped up oh it sorted it 
and you could see it animate. It was a little fast, but that's fine. Let's just, when you get something like that to work, the next thing to do is upsize it. Let's do not 10, let's do 50. That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted and I got it. And I'm pretty happy. Look at that. It's 3D. You could replace those with cylinders. That'd be kind of cool and it'd be more 3D. Uh, but let's let's make it 500. Now I probably want to increase this to, let's do this at a, um, 100. Look at that. Bubble sort. I mean, so you could say, hey, this is computer programming, but it's actually art, right? I think it's art. It's an artistic thing. It looks pretty. Okay, I think I'm done. Let me save this. I never saved it. So bubble sort color, bubble sort color. I will save it. I will put a link down below to the code. You can play with it and make your own art. You could try changing it into cylinders. That would be pretty fun. I think it'd be pretty cool to make a 3D bubble sort. Um, but there you go. I want I always wanted to make my own version. If you want to make it 5,000 pieces to sort, make 5,000 pieces to sort. Have fun making art.